All right, guys. We just did factoring trinomials with the, tri uh, the trial and error method, but specifically of the form x squared plus bx plus c. These are a little bit more difficult. Now we have a coefficient in front of x squared other than 1. So for example, you're asked to factor the following trinomial. Um, 12x squared minus 16x minus 35. So it looks a little bit more difficult than what we did in the last video. Right? The coefficient in front of x squared is not 1. So now things change a little bit, but the concept is still the same. It's still a backwards FOIL, okay? We're still going in the opposite direction of, of FOIL. This came from FOIL. So it's the same thought process. This times this, right? This is the first part of FOIL. This is the last part of FOIL, and this is the combination of the outer and inner part of FOIL. So again, I'm going to choose factors of 12x squared to go here and here because these two have to multiply to give me 12x squared. Now this is going to take a little bit longer because there are multiple factors of 12x squared. And now I'm really playing with numbers. So factors of 12, 3 and 4, 6 and 2, 12 and 1. Let's start, for example, with just 3x and 4x, okay? First part works. Last part. The product of these two terms has to multiply to give me negative 35. The lucky part of this is there are not a lot of factors of negative 35, right? 35 and 1, or 5 and 7. I'm going to try 5 and 7 first, right? Because I look at the middle term, and it's not huge, so 35 might be too large. And I'm going to just place it. Place the 7 here and place the 5 here. Trial and error. I'm trying something. If it doesn't work, I will try something else. Now the location of these numbers is going to be um, very important, okay? Because these two have coefficients. So now my outer and my inner are affected by the coefficient in front of these. My outer is going to give me a 15x. My inner is going to give me a 28x. I want to know, are they going to combine in any way to give me a 16 or a negative 16? No matter what the signs are, 15 and 28 can never give me a 16, which means wrong. Now, I'm not going to change all my numbers. I'm still going to try a 3x and a 4x, but I'm going to switch and put the 5 here and the 7 here. Is that going to change anything? Of course. Now my outer is 21x and my inner is a 20x. But it's 21 and 20 in any way going to give me a 16, regardless of the sign. No, this guy's out. Again, like I said, if I think ahead, I probably am not gonna choose to try 35 and one because I'm gonna get too big of numbers to give me a 16 in the middle. So what I'm gonna do now is try a 6x and a 2x, different factors of the first term. Playing with numbers, right? I have to try every combination before I claim that this is not factorable. So if I have a lot of factors of the first and the last term, it does make it a little bit more difficult. But like I said, if you practice your multiplication tables and you get very good with numbers, you can get very quick with this method, and it will benefit you later on. All right, so again, 6 times 2, 12. So that part, that part works. I'm going to try a 7 and a 5, but I'm going to think ahead. Where would I put the 7 and where would I put the 5? If I put the 7 here, I'm going to get a 14. If I put the 5 here, I'm going to get a 30. 30 and 14. Sounds good to me because I could get 16. 7, 5. Here's my check. Outer is 30x. Inner is 14x. A 30 and a 14 can give me an, a 16 depending on signs. If I want negative, this guy has to be negative and this guy has to be positive. This is the only way that these two terms are going to add together to give me negative 16x. Negative 30x plus 14x is negative 16x. Where did the negative 30 come from? The outer. So this has to be negative. All right? So now 6x times negative 5 is negative 30. But this guy has to be um, positive. Where did the positive 14x come from? The product of the inner. 
this should be positive. Check it. 6x times 2x is 12x squared. That works. My last terms. Positive 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. That works. Outer and inner combined, negative 30x plus 17x, sorry, plus 14x, will combine to give me negative 16x. That's what I wanted. This guy is factored. So sometimes, of course, we don't choose the right numbers initially, but that's okay. Trial and error. Again, I'm thinking ahead, I'm trying to think ahead. Okay, if I put the 5 here and I put the 7 there, is that going to give me what I want? See if you can play with numbers before you place them. Here's another one. Um, let's do this one. 10x squared plus 23x minus 5. Let's factor it. I want the bubbles. Signs are different. Pay attention to my signs. The nice thing about this one is that there are only two factors of 5, a 5 and a 1. So I don't have a choice. 5, 1, or vice versa. I don't have any other factors of 5. But I do have multiple factors of 10. 5 and 2, or 10 and 1. Well, because we're dealing with certain numbers, let's try a 5 and a 2. Now, think about where I would put the 5 and where I would put the 2. I'm going to write this out. If I put the 5x here and the 2x here, I get a 5 and a 10. Is a 5 and a 10 going to give me 23? No. Five, uh, 5, oops, sorry guys. Um, what did we put? We put the 5 here and the 1 here. So now, <clears throat> switch it. 2x and 5x. Is this going to work? 2 and 25. 2 and 25 is going to give me 23. If the signs work. Who's positive, who's negative? I want this guy to be positive. So I want the bigger number to be positive, And I want the smaller number to be negative. Now, of course, I want to check my numbers and check my signs before I claim that this is done. Positive 2x times positive 5x is positive 10x squared. Positive 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. My signs are matching and my numbers. My outer is negative 2x and my inner is positive 25x negative 2x plus 25x gives me positive 23x boom this guy's done so again you're playing with numbers okay same exact concept as the last case it's just that now being that you have coefficient in front of x squared you have a little bit more effort and you need to be a little bit better with your um with your numbers. Okay, here we'll do one more. We had a 12 and a 10. Let's do, how about this? Factor the following trinomial. 24x squared plus 22x plus 3. Oops. 24x squared plus 22x plus 3. Oops, let me clear that up for you guys. 24x squared plus 22x plus 3. I want to factor it. The nice thing about this one, again, is the last term only has two factors of it. The first term, though, 24 has a lot of factors. But either way, it's got to be a 3 and a 1. And actually, being that these two have to multiply to give me positive, they're both positive, they're both negative, but what do you think? Are they both positive or are they both negative? They're both going to be positive because the middle term is also positive. And of course, if I can't recognize that now, I'll check it again, verify at the end, make sure that I'm right. Okay, I have to play with numbers now. 24. How many factors of 24? 12 and 2. Oops. 12 and 2. 8 and 3. 6 and 4. 24 and 1. We have a lot. So let's just play. Let's say that we try 8x and a 3x first. Does that work? Well, hopefully you guys are thinking ahead. I get an 8 and a 9. 8 and 9 is not going to give me 22. Wrong. 3, 1. What if I switch 3x and 8x? 
I'm going to get a 3 mm, and a 24. No way. Not going to give me 22. So I actually tried every combination of the 3 and 1 with the 8 and 3 in both directions. So what am I going to change? I'm going to change the factors of the first term. If I think ahead, right, 12 and 2. If I put a 12 and a 2, 12 is going to give me, see if you could visualize this. If I put a 12 here and a 2 here, 12 and 6, right? If I put a 12 here and a 2 here, a 12 and a 6 won't give me 22. I'm not going to try that. I'm not even going to write it down. If I put the 2 here and the 12 here, 12 and a 2. 2 and 36 is not going to work. So I'm not even going to attempt 12 and 2 because I'm thinking ahead. When I place those numbers, it's not going to give me what I want. So now I'm going 6 and 4. Where should I put my 6 and where should I put my 4? If I place the 4 here, I'm going to get a 12, right, if I place the 4 here. If I place the 6 here, a 12 and a 6 is not going to give me 22. So let's see. <clears throat> Let's try the 6 here, oops, sorry, the 4 here, sorry guys, that's messy, let me change that, I don't want to be messy. Let's try the 4 here, the 4x, and the 6x here, okay, try to keep your work neat so that you, you can always backtrack. 18 and 4, 18 and 4 works if the signs match, positive, positive means that both of these are going to be positive. I want to verify before I claim that I'm done. A 4x times a 6x is a 24x squared. That works. Positive 3 times positive 1 is positive 3. That works. Outer. And if you need to write it out, write it out. 4x, inner, 18x. 4x and 18x, positive and positive, give me positive 22x. This guy's done. Okay? Keep practicing this.